Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch with another merger and acquisition. Yes, which would this channel should be all about now. So this is a game development related for sure, in that Epic Games have just acquired another team to join and grow the Unreal Engine team, and this one is Cubic Motion. Now, you may not immediately recognize the name Cubic Motion, but if you've paid attention to Unreal Engine's previous GDC presentations, Cubic Motion has featured prominently in many of them. In fact, you will immediately recognize some of their work. If I scroll down here, we've got some past demonstrations. The this was 2018's Siren. Uh, this is Meet Mike, and of course, this is Senua from Hellblade. Um, and their technology is what provides that real life facial capture look that we've got going on here. So, I'm going to go into the press release from Epic Games. Uh, today, we are, real, uh, are thrilled to welcome Cubic Motion to the Epic Games family. Cubic Motion is a longtime Epic partner and a leading provider of automated, performance driven facial animation technology and services for video games, film, broadcast, and immersion experiences. By joining forces, our team are solidifying our commitment to advancing the state of the art in creation of believable digital humans for all Unreal Engine users. Uh, Cubic Motion's talent will work hand in hand with Three Lateral, a developer they required they acquired a little while back, a developer of innovative technologies that enable digitization of human appearance and motion at unprecedented levels of realism. Three Lateral joins the Unreal Engine team in July, um, January of 2019 to lead development of state of the art real time capabilities for the creation of virtual humans and cre uh, creatures. Uh, we are delighted to be joining. Epic Games and look forward with excitement to this next chapter in our story, says Cubic Motion CEO Gareth Edwards. Together, we are uniquely positioned to push the boundaries of digital human technology, bringing every more realism and immersion to all forms of visual entertainment. Digital humans are not only the next frontier of content creation, but also the most complex endeavor in computer graphics, with Cubic Motion bringing their computer vision and animation technology and expertise to our digital human efforts. Epic Game, along with our team at Three Lateral, are one step closer to democratizing these capabilities for creators everywhere, said Tim Sweeney, which is kind of funny because I actually think he might be stealing that tagline from Unity. I don't know who said democratizing game development first, but they're both using that terminology a lot lately. Uh, so facial animation that conveys the slightest nuance of human expression is essential to crossing the uncanny valley. We believe that holistically combining uh, Epic's Unreal Engine and Three Laterals facial recreation and cubic motion solving technology is the only way to answer this challenge and ultimately to reach the pinnacle of digital human artistry with Unreal Engine, said Epic Games CTO Kim Limbery. Uh, so if you want, sorry, I'm making your name. Um, you can see this presentation in the past from a previous uh, GDC presentation. It's basically, there's an actress behind the scenes doing this facial capture in real time, but this is a computer generated model responding in real time to the reaction. It was also used in Senua Sacrifice live character demonstration at GDC 2016, followed by the expanded from pelvis to Final in five minutes, which are in real time graphics and interactive interactivity award at SeaGraph 2016. And then Epic and Cubic Motion have continued to collaborate, showcasing high levels of quality and believability in photorealistic digital humans in Meet Mike at SeaGraph 2017 and Siren at GDC 2018. All of those videos are on live actually. So if you want to see what these look like in action, uh, that's what you'll see. So Cubic Motion also develops the Persona system, which provides an end-to-end -end hardware and software solution for capturing and translating an actor's performance onto their digital counterpart in real time and enables immediate character facial animations in Unreal Engine. Cubic Motion's facial animation technology has also been used in the production of many notable AAA titles, including Sony's Inter Sony Interactive's God of War and Insomniac Games' Marvel Spider-Man, which is praised as being one of the best-looking games of the last generation. So here's a little bit of the showcase of some of the titles that uh, Cubic Motion has been behind. So we got Apex Legends, the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan, uh, Medan, Medan, I don't know, this is that horror movie one, uh, League of Legends Pro League, uh, live presentation, then we got uh, Marvel Spider-Man, again, one of the most popular games of last gen, or this gen, I guess you'd say, Westworld Awakening, Blood and Truth, Anthem, don't judge them by Anthem, uh, Psych Zed, uh, God of War, Again, the Siren demonstration, Metro Exodus, Call of Duty World War II, Kiss Me First, Horizon Zero Dawn, Hidden Agenda. So if you kind of go through that list, that's some of like the best graphical games of the last couple of years are highlighted here, especially for things that had hardcore facial animation. Well, okay, that, that expression sounds weird. Uh, the other thing kind of mentioned, so Cubic Motion is all kind of about two things. They do animation services and Persona. Persona is that rig they were talking about. It's facial animation technology end to end. You've seen these in action. So here we've got the head mounted camera displays that are used. And then um, 
the onboard computing appliance that is the heart of the setup and the performance manager software. So you've probably seen their rigs in action online, um, but they continue to make this kind of stuff. And from what I've seen of uh, previous Epic's acquisitions, I'm assuming that they're going to keep going with the hardware line of products that they make available. Uh, but obviously their support and integration with Unreal Engine is going to improve in time. Now, the other thing mentioned around here was Three Lateral Studios. Now, Three Lateral Studios is all about uh, creating really realistic humans. So they're the actual people that are creating the character model and doing the scanning and um, so on. They're more of a services company as far as I can tell. They don't really make technology per se. They're more of an art team for making super realistic uh, facial um, captures and rigs and character rigs and so on. So the high quality digital humans you're seeing being used um, over here in cubic motion. So they're more on the data side of things. And then once you've got the data captured, it would be something like three laterals, uh, meshes and models and facial rigs that would be put together to make the real time version that you see on your screen. So it does seem like Epic Games are kind of building up uh, more and more teams and technologies here, and they're going to take their techniques and stuff, and it's all going to be incorporated into Unreal Engine going forward. So you're going to imagine out of this kind of acquisition, you're going to probably see better facial animations, uh, better workflow pipelines for animation capture, etc. in Unreal Engine. Uh, but I would imagine you'll see, just like you did with Quixel, Quixel continue to support other uh, game engines and technologies. I assume you're going to see Cubic Motion's rigs and technology still be available and working with other other hardware as well. Just expect its support and integration into Unreal Engine to get even better. And then keep in mind, Unreal Engine is going to have even more of these um, technologies in-house. And Unreal is really pushing hard to get more into the uh, digital um, production space. So they're being used for like, for example, the Mandalorian TV show is being shot using some Unreal Engine technology, which by the way, check that out. It's really, really awesome how they do these things, but they're projecting real time sets using Unreal Engine and camera matching and all this kind of stuff. Well, this is a step in that direction as well. Because if you're going to really get into uh, visual production kind of workflows, you're going to need to create digital faces. And they, as they said in the article, it's one of the hardest things to do. So this acquisition goes one step towards making that easier. Now, to the end of the day, for an existing Unreal Engine user today, how does this affect you? As far as I can tell, not at all. But I imagine going forward in the future, you're just going to basically see uh, better facial rigging, better pipelines, better support for this kind of stuff. So. Um, you know, it's one of those acquisitions that makes uh, Unreal and Epic a better team, more resources at hand. Don't know how immediately this will pay off for Unreal Engine users, but it's definitely an interesting acquisition. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.